and welcome to the module 4 of uh, computational techniques and uh, in module 4 we are going to look at uh, nonlinear algebraic equations and computational methods to solve uh, the nonlinear algebraic equations. Uh, so, let us look at a simple motivating example uh, for this particular problem. Uh, this is just a straightforward example of uh, a nonlinear equation 2 minus x plus log of x equal to 0 and essentially what we are intended uh, intending to do is find the points of intersection of this particular curve with the x axis. So, the, th this particular curve intersects the x axis at two different locations. So, this one location and this the second location are essentially the solutions to the equation 2 minus x plus ln of x equal to 0. Uh, what we are intend to do is uh, figure out ways of numerically solving this particular equation. Uh, what I have shown over here in the graph is essentially a graphical method. We can employ graph graphical methods for relatively simple problems, uh, perhaps problems in one or two variables, but when the problems go beyond say a couple of variables, we are not going to be able to use graphical methods. And for in general for more complicated examples. Uh, we will not be able to use analytical techniques in order to get the solutions. So, we resort to essentially using uh, the power of computer and numerical techniques in order to solve this problem. So, as I said the solution is the location where the curve intersects the x axis. Uh, unlike the linear uh, case that we saw in module 3, it is possible to have more than one solution, but a finite number of solutions to the equation. For example, in uh, linear algebra when we looked at the systems what we found is when the matrix A was uh, uh, non singular that means rank of matrix A was equal to n, we could get exactly one unique solution and when the rank was not equal to n, we could possibly get infinite number of solutions, but we never got multiple finite number of solutions to the problem. Uh, however, in uh, uh, disagreement with that observation what we see in numerical in uh, sorry in nonlinear systems is that they can have multiple solutions and the example is right in front of you is now there are two solutions one at this particular location and the other at this particular location both of which are the solutions to the equation uh, 2 minus x plus ln x. The first solution is uh, 0.1586 and the second solution is 3.1462. So, these are the two solutions to the equation. Okay. Uh, the general setup that we are interested in uh, is given a, a particular function f of x, we are interested in finding out the x that solves the nonlinear equation f of x equal to 0. This is the general setup in a single variable. Uh, in general this f of, f of x could be a closed form closed form e expression as in this particular expression 2 minus x plus ln x. What, what, what we mean by closed form expression is that we can express x uh, we can express f of x explicitly in terms of x. There are lot of problems in which we, we may not have a closed form equation or we may not have uh, an algebraic representation of x, but x can be obtained through certain other numerical means and we will look at those problems uh, perhaps when we come to module 8 uh, when we discuss about uh, boundary value problems uh, in ordinary differential equations and uh, when we talk about uh, partial differential equations. But as of now uh, what, what happens is all we need is given a particular x we need a method to give us the f uh, the function f of x and as long as we have that we do not care whether it comes from a, uh, an expression of the of the type 2 minus x plus ln x or whether it comes through any other means. Uh, so, uh, that is the general setup and we are interested in finding out the point of intersection of uh, the, uh, the curve f uh, against the x axis. Uh, an example and the uh, nonlinear systems are extremely common in uh, chemical engineering uh, for that matter in any engineering systems. And uh, just a simple example that we have taken over here is catalytic reaction taking place in uh, a continuous stir tank reactor and let us say the catalyst follows a langmuir hinshelwood type of kinetics. Uh, then if we try to get the steady state uh, relationship for, for the CSTR uh, where tau if tau is the residence time we get uh, inlet concentration divided by tau minus the uh, outlet concentration divided by tau 
minus the rate of reaction essentially should be equal to 0 at steady state and if it follows uh, langmuir hinshelwood kinetics uh, of a particular kind uh, we have the rate expression expressed in terms of kca divided by 1 plus capital kca the whole squared uh, and this is a nonlinear expression and because of the presence of this nonlinearity the overall function uh, f of the concentration ca uh, becomes nonlinear so uh, in general now when you have to solve an equation of this sort in order to get the concentration of ca or in order to get the uh, tau value that will give you a particular ca what we will have is essentially a nonlinear equation uh, a single equation in a single unknown and we can solve that particular equation uh, through uh, the techniques that we will learn in this module we will be able to solve those equations and we will get uh, the desired solution for uh, that particular problem. So, that is for example, in this case uh, that particular solution is going to be the concentration C A that we are going to get out of this particular reactor uh, if tau is going to be the residence time in this particular. So, now that is when we talk about uh, a single variable case let us look at the extension to multivariable case. In multivariable case we do not have just one variable, but we have in general n variables. So, we have x 1, x 2 up to x n uh, those are n variables and for them to have for the uh, entire system to be uh, a well post systems we system we actually need n functions f 1, f 2 up to f n equal to zeros, uh, which uh, and this particular condition needs to be satisfied. Uh, if, if this condition is satisfied for each of those functions f uh, at that time we say that uh, the values of x 1, x 2 up to x n are the solutions to uh, these equations. Uh, and we will use a vectorial notation for a multidimensional system. Uh, very similar to what uh, we did in, in module 3, um, our x bar is going to be or in this case I have used a bold face x, uh, our x is go, going to be uh, x 1, x 2 up to x n, uh, it is going to be a column vector, uh, co column vector where the n variables form the n rows of that particular vector and f is also going to be a vector where uh, the first uh, first element of f is going to be just f 1 computed at x 1, x 2 up to x n, the second is going to be uh, f 2 computed at x 1, x 2 up to x n and so on up to f n. Uh, and this these particular n equations in n unknowns we can write in a shorthand notation in the form f of x equal to 0. Okay, so, that is the shorthand notation for uh, this particular system. Okay, so, there is a specific uh, reason why we are using this particular uh, shorthand notations and essentially it is because we are interested for a single variable case in uh, obtaining uh, a numerical technique that will solve the problem and give us the solution x and in multivariable case we want a technique which is scalable to any general n, it is uh, we are not uh, interested in developing a technique that is uh, suitable only for uh, 2 or 3 or 4 variables, but we generally in general we are interested in figuring out a technique uh, that can be applied to uh, a large number of variables. Okay. Uh, so, that is really the overall uh, picture or overall introductory picture behind uh, uh, this sol uh, solution to uh, nonlinear equations. We will take up another example when we have 2 equations in 2 unknowns. Uh, this is an example uh, actually of uh, propane combustion in case of uh, oxygen uh, is going to be present in excess. So, if we have propane combustion taking place in an adiabatic uh, continuous reactor uh, and C A 0 is the concentration of propane at the inlet and C A is the concentration of propane at the outlet and tau is the residence time then this is the overall uh, equation that we get for uh, uh, obtaining co the concentration at the exit. Uh, this is a nonlinear equation. There are two types of nonlinearity. One nonlinearity comes in because of the Arrhenius type of rate law, uh, because of the exponent of minus e by r t. The other nonlinearity comes in because this is not a first order uh, reaction rate, but it's uh, the reaction kinetics is has an order of 1.65. Likewise, so this one is going to be f1 of C A and T. 
likewise we will need an energy balance also the energy balance will give you the second function f 2 and f 2 of uh, C A and T is written over here and basically this is the heat of reaction term and this is the rate of reaction term. So, uh, this particular product is the total heat that is generated because of the reaction taking place. Uh, this is uh, the sensible heat entering into the system uh, at the inlet and this is the sensible heat exiting from the system uh, at the outlet and this becomes our overall problem. So, our x bar in this case uh, if we refer to the previous uh, slide the f bar uh, in this case becomes f 1 and f 2 and x bar is just going to be C A and T and n in this particular example is nothing but uh, okay. uh, so, uh, now we are not in general not just restricted to two equations to two and two unknowns and, and so on. Uh, we can in general have n equations and in, in n unknowns uh, just an example to give you is for example, we have a distillation column with, uh, with for say 40 trays then uh, and two components we will have uh, the mass fraction of uh, component A in the liquid mass fraction of component A in the gas phase and temperature these are the three variables at each of those stage uh, stages and so we will end up with 3 multiplied by 40 is 120 variables. So, we might actually end up with 120 equations and 120 unknowns and uh, that would be an example of uh, a multi dimensional system in nonlinear equations. Okay. Um, now, all the methods that we are going to look at uh, will follow a certain general strategy of getting the solution and the general strategy will involve we will re require first an initial guess uh, that is shown by the red dot over here. Uh, so, that is going to be an initial guess we need to either we need to provide an initial guess or the numerical method that we develop uh, has to uh, also incorporate in it a method to get that particular initial guess. Uh, once we get initial guess we might either have one initial guess or we might start with two initial guesses. So, the first uh, agenda is going to be to start with one or two initial guesses uh, and then use a particular strategy in order to move that particular initial guess in the direction of the solution. Uh, in general at this uh, point we know how the solution uh, how the curve looks like we know what the solution is exactly going to be. So, we can figure out whether whether or not the uh, particular point is moving towards the solution or moving away from the solution and so on. But in general we do not if we do not know uh, what this curve looks like or where the intersection of the curve with the x axis is a priori we do not know whether the movement is in the direction of the solution or whether it is not. Uh, however, what we need is to choose a strategy which will uh, generate the next the successor moves. Uh, given a, a current initial guess and given the function f either in a closed form uh, like this or uh, some method to generate f of x given x. Okay. Now, the next item uh, uh, would be to verify if the stopping criterion is stat satisfied. In this particular case the blue dot the, that we see over here it is fairly far away from the actual solution if you look at and if you compute the f of f of x at that particular point at that point. So, this is going to be f of x that also we realize is fairly far away from uh, 0. We are trying to solve the problem f of x equal to 0 and we will see that f of x in this particular case is fairly far away from 0. So, in this case we will conclude that the stopping criterion is not satisfied and because the stopping criterion is not stat satisfied we will have to go back solve this particular uh, problem once again using the chosen strategy again move in the direction of the solution again verify if the stopping criterion is satisfied and keep doing this repeatedly and once the stopping criterion is satisfied this is going to be the numerical solution that that we obtain. 